watching AM 21 minutes past seven. Thanks for being with us this morning. The Human Rights Commission says the government's emergency housing system is in breach of human rights. It follows the government's announcement yesterday of an overhaul of emergency housing. Chief Human Rights Commissioner Paul Hunt joins us this morning with more on the report uh, released. Uh, how is emergency housing not meeting basic human rights? How does it breach those human rights, Paul? Tenakwe. Um, look, just first, really, really briefly, I just want to recognise that the housing crisis has arisen from decades of neglect. Uh, I also want to briefly acknowledge that the present government has, taking, has taken the housing sector more seriously than any government in recent history. But nonetheless, when we in the Human Rights Commission, when we look at the current situation, there are failings. So what we've done is we've listened carefully to hundreds of people who have experience of transitional housing and emergency housing, and we've set those out, those voices, we've given them a platform in Chapter 3 of our report. And then we've analysed what we've heard uh, in the context of the human right to a decent home mm. grounded on Te Tiriti o Waitangi. Because what, done... the, what the report has found, hasn't it, is that there are some young people who say they feel safer living on the streets than they do in emergency housing, that there are some children who are two or three years old who have only ever known living in a motel. I mean, how is this catering to basic human rights of people who, who don't have a roof over their heads or who don't have a decent home? Yeah, it doesn't meet the human rights standards. What, we, what we've said is that there is, a, given what we've learned by listening to people, that um, some of the emergency housing um, does not meet the basic standards required by human rights and it constitutes a breach. Secondly, there are some cases of people in emergency housing who are evicted into homelessness. That, too, is a human rights breach. Kicked down uh, onto the street. The government, though, has uh, just yesterday afternoon put out this emergency housing review, which is going to bring in minimum standards. Will that fix the issue? Um, we received just yesterday a press release and then one side of A4 setting out 10 action points. I've asked for a copy of the review which began ages ago, uh, and I haven't been given a copy of the review. So I, I can't, the, the jury is still out. I need to get the full review, and I, but having said that, the jury is out, but the jury has some preliminary reflections. First reflection is that this is MSD and uh, HUD reviewing MSD and HUD. It's mm. an internal review. There's a place for internal reviews, but they're not the same as independent reviews. That's just one point. Um, secondly, we've only got one side of A4 on which to comment. But look, just look at some of the action points. Can I mention one? Act There's one action point which says, and I quote, update guidance for MSD frontline staff. Well, no one can disagree with that. I'm surprised it's an action point. I would have thought that updating guidance for MSD staff was a continuing ongoing process. That's one point. Action five says, I quote, set standards for providers as they meet some minimum expectations about safety and suitability. Well, that's good. Better late than never. Again, you would think that would be a given, wouldn't you? And, and well, where is the accountability in this, Paul? Is uh, people in emergency housing, where is their option to go to, say, a tenancy tribunal if these actions aren't carried out? Do they have that option available to them? Well, this is another breach of human rights that we identify in our report. Human rights requires there to be light, nimble, accessible, transparent, constructive accountability arrangements in case things go wrong. And there isn't such a system in relation to the emergency housing system in Aotearoa. So that's another breach. The absence of having a, some appropriate access to justice, it needn't be going to a court, that absence is a breach of the government's human rights obligations. Chief Human Rights Commissioner Paul Hunt, thanks very much for being with us uh, and sharing some of the details of that report this morning.